time in the reporting, and she definitely puts it on on a spotlight. So we're very fortunate. Very for that fortunate kind of, uh, atmosphere in our backyard. Yeah, it's good to report on agriculture because it is a huge staple in, in the desert southwest, especially where we are down here. And yeah. that was a very nice knife that you cut yep. there too, April. Even engraved with her name on Not it. Not only on the handle, because she had brought it into the newsroom uh, right before the newscast here. It's on the blade as well, and it says April Henninger on the back side. It says Yuma County Farm Bureau has the logo on it. Very neat. Very, very neat. Very neat. Something she'll probably hold near and dear to her heart for a long time. So, definitely. What I was going to say about uh, the ag fields, what, it, what amazed me are the students here in the mm -hmm. schools who wonder how, of course, lettuce is at the grocery store mm -hmm. and how they take them behind the scenes to show them exactly right. how it got put on the shelf. I didn't get to see that growing up in Tucson. Got, I got that firsthand. Yeah. Right. And you've heard of uh, STEM? Yes. Uh, the STEM, but down here it's STEAM because they add the A for agriculture. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And you got the 4 H students. So, a yeah. lot of neat stuff going on. But, Weather-wise. Yeah, more neat stuff. Let's take a look, shall we? <laughs> We're going to go over to the RV World Skycam. 88 degrees right now in Yuma, 83 degrees currently in El Centro under mostly clear skies. Yeah, you're getting a nice view of the moon tonight along with the stars. You might even see a planet out there as well. Out here, though, this is downtown Yuma. This is 4th Avenue. We still have a slight breeze that's starting to settle down. You can see the top of that little tree right there. Not as gusty as it was, but other parts of the viewing area certainly is. Let's take a look right now at the satellite and radar. I'll show you exactly what we have going on. Here's where we are right here. Very clear. We did have some showers earlier today throughout eastern Arizona. That's all moving to the northeast. Let's fast forward now. That was from about 7 o'clock tonight. That's where we are. You do see some green. It is some rain, but we're just so warm that it's not going to fall or make any kind of an impact. Jumping ahead and taking a look at our future cast, this is what we were prescribed today by the weather systems in the area. We did see some rain in that eastern portion of Arizona. Jumping ahead now to the future wind slide. Take a look at this. Yeah, we're still going to have gusting winds. Light right now throughout Yuma County, but you saw Ocotillo over there with the gusting winds. And look what happens tomorrow just after dinner time. More gusty winds coming through the area, and then they're going to start to settle down as we get into Friday morning. What is that doing to our air quality index? It's brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Oh, well, we got a mixed bag here. We've got uh, three cities in good readings and three in moderate, and this has been fluctuating throughout the day. Current temperatures throughout the area look like this throughout Imperial County. 85 in Salton City, 82 in Imperial, 83 in El Centro. Holtville still warm at 87 degrees. And across the county and state line, we'll skip into Arizona and Yuma County. 87 now in Yuma, along with the foothills. San Luis is at 88 and Somerton at 87. Here's a nice cool photo to help you cool off. This was handed, sent in by Gabby Venegas. This is at Martinez Lake. Look how clear the water is on this. You can see the reflection of the mountains and the trees out there. Just a fantastic photo. Gabby said they were out fishing. She never told me if they caught any fish at Martinez Lake. Thank you for sending that in. If you have a weather photo, we certainly want to see it. You can scan this QR code. It'll take you right to the weather photo gallery. From there, you can upload your photo, add your name, and also see all the other photos that we have there as well. And I'll, I'll peel one off at a later time and show it on a future forecast. Or you can uh, do it this way, the old school way. Find me on social media or drop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Here is our Metrocast to help you plan tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, clear 84 around midnight tonight when you wake up tomorrow morning with your cup of coffee or, or your bowl of cereal branded. It'll be uh, 79 and sunny at 6 a.m. And tomorrow at high noon, 93 and sunny. Here's your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, again, as I told you, still breezy. Uh, it'll be about 99 degrees. Same can be said for Friday. Gusty and breezy into the weekend, but then we'll turn up the heat on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Take a look at that. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. Breezy at right around 100. Our average is 106. We'll be below that until Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be much, much hotter.